Hey everyone, welcome to Wishing Well Barbecue. I'm Dustin Wells, and today we're gonna do a bourbon glaze smoked salmon. Let's do it. Today we're gonna smoke a very simple but delicate meal, and it's something that I really think is very underrated in the barbecue world and that's a smoked salmon. This salmon is gonna turn out absolutely delicious, and we're gonna brine it in some awesome seasonings. We're gonna put it on the smoker, and we're gonna finish it with this amazing bourbon glaze that I'm gonna show you how to make. Let me show you what we need to do to prepare this for the smoker. I went to my local grocery store and I picked up three of these farm-raised salmon fillets and they've already been cut down into portion sizes for me so I don't really have to worry about doing that. The skin is still on these salmon fillets but that's okay that's going to act as a barrier for us and not only that but you're not really going to eat it the salmon's going to flake off of it so you don't have to really worry about that. But if you do want to take it off, you can go ahead and just slide your knife right under here and just take the filet right off of the skin. I do want to double check though that I don't have any of these pin bones. The salmon filet does have these bones that run down into the filet. And so what I want to do is I just want to feel around and make sure that there's nothing hard. I don't feel any bone cartilage. Sometimes on the filet on this side, you can feel some, but I'm just feeling around to make sure I don't feel any bones running my finger through there. I definitely don't wanna chew on that later. Now that I've double checked these fillets to make sure there's no pin bones or any extra bones sitting inside of the fillet, I wanna make a brine. And this brine is really going to put a bunch of flavor into the salmon before we smoke it. Now we wanna brine it for about three hours. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time to let these brine before you fire up your smoker. In order to make our dry brine today, I'm going to start with a cup and a half of light brown sugar. I then want to mix with that a cup of kosher salt. Then I'm going to put two tablespoons of my barbecue dry rub. This is Wishing Well barbecue dry rub, but you can put two tablespoons of whatever your favorite dry rub or favorite barbecue seasoning is. Now that I've got that in the bowl, I'm just gonna give it a quick mix. I can mix it with my hands here. Now that I've got all these seasonings mixed together, I wanna to put about half of it in the very bottom of this pan here. This pan's gonna go in the refrigerator, so I just wanna evenly distribute it throughout the pan. Now that I've got half of my dry rub seasoning in here, I wanna go ahead and put the salmon fillets down. I'm gonna put them skin down for this part. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of this dry brine all over the salmon. I'm just gonna make sure that I pat this into the salmon. I wanna make sure that I get every bit of the salmon covered with this dry brine. I'm gonna put some aluminum foil over my pan here. And now I'm just gonna put it right in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let it set for three hours. Now every 45 minutes or so, I'm probably gonna go back into the refrigerator and unwrap this and just make sure that that seasoning is still all over that salmon. Let's get it in the fridge and we'll see you in three hours. All right, we've had these salmon fillets in the dry brine for about three hours. Let's check it out. You can tell that the dry brine has really pulled out a whole bunch of moisture. It's really incorporated a bunch of flavor into these fillets. The texture and the color has changed, but I don't wanna put them on the smoker with this dry brine on there. I'm gonna take them inside and give them a good rinse with some cool water. All right, I've taken these salmon fillets inside and rinsed them with cold water. And now I just want to take a paper towel and really, really dab them dry. I need these salmon fillets to be very dry. We're gonna dry both sides. And you can totally see that the color of that salmon is completely different. It's a really, really dark red. It's soaked in those brown sugars, the salt, the dry rub. It's really incorporated that into the salmon. So now what we've got is a cooling rack and we're just gonna spray it with some cooking spray. And we're gonna place the salmon patties right on this cooling rack. 
Now, one super important step that we want to do is we wanna put these back in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. That way that it gets a nice crust on there. And whenever we go to cut into this after it's done, it's super flaky and super tender. So let's put it in the refrigerator and let it sit while we get the smoker fired up. Today I'm cooking on my Oklahoma Joe offset smoker. I don't want to use a wood that's too harsh of a smoke flavor, so I'm going to use a combination of lump charcoal and cherry wood today. And I want to keep my smoker between 250 and 275 degrees. All right, we've had our salmon fillets in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and we've got our pit rolling. It's time to get these salmon fillets on the smoker. Let's come back and check on these salmon fillets and see how they look in about 30 minutes. Now that we've got the salmon on the smoker, I wanna take you inside and show you how I make this super simple bourbon glaze that's gonna go on the salmon when it's done. The first ingredient that I wanna put in this bourbon glaze is a half stick of butter. And I've got this saucepan on medium heat. I'm just gonna let that break down a little bit. Now that I've got my butter melted, I want to add a third cup of dark brown sugar. I wanna give that a mix with my whisk. I want to add one third cup of Maker's Mark bourbon one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one fourth cup of honey. Now that I've got all these ingredients mixed together, I want to whisk, and I want to bring them up to a boil. Once it gets up to a rolling boil, we're gonna turn down the heat and let it simmer for about seven minutes. Make sure you stir it occasionally as you let it simmer. Once the sauce has simmered for about five or seven minutes and it's gotten a lot thicker, I wanna put it into a different container. Now that I've got this poured into my separate container, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the smoker while the salmon finishes up. All right, we've had these salmon fillets on for about 30 minutes and just look at that. They have such a nice color. They're looking really good. Let's verify our temperature here. We're looking at about 94, 95 degrees. We still have a little ways to go, so let's close down the smoker and let them keep cooking. All right, we've had these salmon fillets on for an additional 30 minutes and they are looking fantastic. I do wanna just go ahead and verify a couple of temperatures here, see what we're sitting at. Oh yeah, this is perfect. We're sitting at about 135 degrees. Now our mark temperature is 145. So now is the perfect time to go ahead and put this glaze on these salmon fillets. Let's go ahead and dab some of this in here and just put it right on the salmon. This is really gonna make that flavor pop. Really gonna give it that awesome sweet bourbon flavor. Now that we've got this glaze on those salmon fillets, let's close it down and let it keep cooking for about 10 more minutes. All right, we've had these salmon fillets on for an additional 10 minutes and they have come up to 145 degrees on the internal temperature. And let me tell you something, they look phenomenal. Just check that out. Doesn't that just look amazing? And let me tell you something, the smell of that bourbon glaze after it's been on there, oh my goodness. It smells so good and I cannot wait to take a bite of this. But before we do, let's talk about what we did to get here. We went to the grocery store and picked up some farm raised salmon. We didn't have to do any extra trimming to them. All we had to do is make sure that there were no bones inside of it. Once we made sure the salmon fillets were nice and cleaned up, we went ahead and put them in a pan with a dry brine that we made using brown sugar, salt, and a little bit of barbecue dry rub. We put it in the refrigerator for about three hours. Once we took it out of the refrigerator, we rinsed off that brine and put it back into the refrigerator to let it dry out for about 30 minutes while we got the smoker ready. Once we had the pit fired up, we put them on the smoker at about 250 degrees and let them cook for about 50 minutes. 
Once the internal temperature reached around 135 degrees, we went ahead and put that glaze on there to let them finish up. And now here we are, and we are ready to eat these, and I just cannot wait anymore. I gotta have a bite of this. Let me just get a little piece of this here. Oh man, it just flakes right off of the same. I, I've got to try it. Whoa. You wouldn't think that it would have so much flavor because you don't see any dry rub or any seasoning on this salmon, but that brine really pumped that flavor into the salmon. And that bourbon glaze at the very end, oh my goodness, it just really gave it a nice finish. All right, get me another bite here. Mm. The texture of that is phenomenal. It's flaky, it's juicy, it's tender. It's, it's incredible. You have absolutely got to try this recipe. It is such a great delicate dinner that you can make to really impress all of your friends you've got to try this recipe. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We would love to have you join our Wishing Well Barbecue family. Make sure that you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the fun. Make sure you also follow us on all of our other socials, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.